Hello and welcome. My name is Steve Paris and I'll be showing you how to create opacity gradients in Final Cut Pro. So let's start by going to the browser and dragging one of your clips onto the timeline. We're now going to need the audio, so let's just mute it right here. Put yourself in the middle and now we need to create some text. So click on the Viewer Windows Generator button and go to text, lower third. Drag that onto the second layer of your timeline directly above the original clip and double click on it again to bring it back into the viewer. You can now edit it easily. Click on the controls tab this is give you tons of options on what you can do to modify this particular text. So let's start filling in the text. You can also do simple things like changing the font size, even the color or even the font style. Scroll down to the bottom of the parameters and you'll see background. Click on it and choose Solid. You can even lower the opacity with this slider and change the color here. But this is all very basic. I think it would be more interesting if you could have the banner completely opaque here and then gradually fade to nothing on the right hand side. So let's go back here and choose None for the background. In order to do this, we need to create another layer in our timeline. Grab the lower third text and bring it up one layer to free up a space in the middle. And go back to the Generator button and choose Matte Color Solid. Now the default color is blue, don't really want that. So click on the Controls tab, click on the color well and choose a more appropriate color. I've decided to go for red. Go back to the video tab and drag that color onto the second layer, making sure the cursor arrow is pointing down. As you can see, the color has taken over the entire clip, which is not exactly what we need. So double click on it to open it back in the viewer to modify it. Click on the motion tab click on the crop tools and use the top and bottom sliders to change the size so it suits your exact purpose. We now need to create yet another layer to put in between the color solid and the original clip. To do this, clip just outside the clips to create a selection marquee. You can use that to select both clips and raise them both at the same time up one layer. Let's go back to the Generator button one last time and choose Render Custom Gradient. Drag it to the second layer. Again, make sure the arrow is pointing down. Move the plate somewhere in the middle so you can see what you're doing in the Canvas window and double click on the Custom Gradient so we can modify it. Click on the Controls tab and go to the Start parameter. Click on this little plus button. Next, move the cursor over to the canvas window and click and drag. As you do, you are modifying the gradient and choosing where the gradient takes place. Let go of the mouse to set the gradient. That leaves us with a very sharp line, which we can actually modify by clicking on the Gaussian tick box. As you can see, it's a lot smoother now. Now it's time for the magic. Control click on the solid clip, not the gradient clip. And go to Composite Mode, Travel Mat Luma. Have a look in the canvas, and all of a sudden the gradient has disappeared, but the solid color now fades gently to the right. You may notice that there is a red line now on top of your timeline, which means that you need to render it to see it. But well, you can get around that. Click on this menu 
and choose Unlimited RT. The line turns orange, which means your computer will be able to play it back without having to render it. Let's do something a little bit different now. Move the playhead till it's about two-thirds along the way of your effect. In the viewer window, click on this button. This creates a keyframe, and a keyframe is used for animation. Move the playhead to the start of your clip, go back to the viewer window, and click on the plus button for the start parameter again. Now drag the pointer all the way to the right, and let go. As you play back your sequence, you will now notice that we have created an animation effect so that the gradient becomes more and more transparent over time. 